Welcome to the Back of the Net Match Day Vlog. It's me, Sam. And it's Tiggs. How are you doing? We're at the home of the roast. I oh, know, we're having a breakfast at a Toby Carvery. Mate. Unbelievable. Is this going to be weird? I'm interested. They, apparently, this is going to be a current theme going through here. They, apparently, they give you a, um, a uh, what do they call them? Yorkshire pudding. That's it, one of them. How, How do, do you, you all know what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> I can remember. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Anyway, match day today. Bournemouth are entertaining Tottenham Hotspur. We cannot wait, but we need to fill our bellies first. Well, let's do it. with your breakfast, but we've gone rogue. Look at that. Mm. Is that normal? We are positively full to after the, that, to mate. The brim. To the brim. How's your Yorkshire pudding or whatever that was thing's right. called? Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it to be there, but it was there. We got along <laughs> fine. Right, shall we get to the stadium? Come on! <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm going to get out of the car, but it's not very nice outside. Well, I think the rain might nearly be stopping. We're just watching TNT in the meantime. They're in the tunnel! Right, here with Kevin. Kevin, how are you, mate? You right? Yeah, good, yeah, looking forward to today. Nice, yeah. sunny day, although it's raining just a minute ago. The pitch is going to be watered. Are we, are we going to score loads of goals today, Kevin? It's, it's a match where you think there will be goals, and um, hopefully we'll come out on the right side of it. But as long as we put in a good performance and we see the structure coming through, I think everyone will be happy for that, because I mean, it's still early days. We've still got a lot of players out. Right, we've got Chaz here. You can see who he supports by his shirt, mate. Um, how are you feeling? under Ange, no Harry Kane. Are you, are you optimistic for the season ahead? Because a lot of Spurs fans I've been chatting to seem to be all right with things at the moment. Not apprehensive at all, really. I've got a lot of confidence in the bloke. He's got yeah. a good track history. We'll see how he goes. He, seem, he certainly seems to have the right ideas. What's your aim for this season? What would be the ideal? So, I mean, obviously, win of the league would be great, but what, like, ideally, what do you want? Just as high as possible. Yeah. Just as high as possible. And we'll see how it goes on the first season. He's got a lot of work to do with what he's got, what's coming in, what's going out, if they're going out, who knows. Come on then. Simon's here. Hello mate, you alright? I'm very well, you alright? Yeah, you've, you've gone for the shorts today. I mean, this weather's been up and down mate, hasn't it? Yeah, but I've, I'm still showing off a slight tan, so while I've got one, I'm kind of like sharing the love. How are you feeling about game today? Do you reckon we get something? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, it's kind of strange to start the season because we haven't played anybody who we have to beat. If you know what I mean, we've got a point against West Ham and all these games I feel like they're kind of free hits so I'm quite relaxed about them and not pushing too hard so if we get something great, if we get a point great, if we win even better. Oh yeah, I've been trying to think of uh, players who've played for Bournemouth and Tottenham but I can't think of any which is really, really frustrating me. We got Neil Whedon here. Neil, how are you? Yeah, right? good, Sam. Yeah, not too bad, thanks, mate. How are you feeling? Do you reckon we can get something? Always feel as though we can get something. I think we, we got enough, haven't we, to, to get something. But uh, yeah, it just depends how we how we perform. Um, interesting lineup today. Mm, yeah. Some changes. What's your prediction then, Neil? Go on, give it My to me. My prediction. Oh man. Uh, it's all oh, on come this. On. Come on. Three, two, one. Hello Adam, you alright? Yeah. Um, where did you go this morning? Did you see this morning? Uh, no, you didn't. You, you, you had breakfast at the Queen's Park yeah, Cafe, didn't you? Woodpecker. Nice. Um, you all filled up? No. What did you have? Um, 
probably like an English breakfast or something like that. Eggs, beans, oh, all that stuff. Like that. Yeah. Um, what's your prediction for the game, mate? Four three to Bournemouth. Sorry. Four three to Bournemouth. Say it one more time. Four three to Bournemouth. That's what Adam thinks. Right, we've got Pete here. Pete, how are you, mate? You all right? I'm fine, thanks. Really looking forward to today. Lovely weather for it, mate. It's up. It's, it's a yo-yo, isn't it? It's yeah, sun, that's right. Rain. What's your What's your thoughts about the game today, mate? Drink. We'll well, get it could go either way, really, couldn't it? Like it always could with a game. You know, it depends on whether we turn up, whether they turn up. Um, you like to think two new managers, a lot of changes in the team, early season. You know, there's no kind of established pattern yet. What's your prediction, go on then? Make it a good one, come on. Uh, two all, I'm afraid. Two. I think that would be a good one for us. Two all. We are in. Tom, 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 apparently the game's postponed, according to everyone. Sorry? The game's postponed. For what? I don't know. I can't be right. Well, nothing on Twitter, mate. No. On Sky Sports, it's saying postponed. Nothing on it. Yeah, no one. Yeah, I can't find it there. It's not no, one, no one knows what's going on. Talk us through the teams, mate. 12.30, 11.30. Uh, I, said, oh, it. I, I said we'd be unchanged, but it's actually them that are unchanged. Uh, we're not. The surprise is celeste has been dropped for Lloyd Kelly. And um, Clover to Bradley, which I think we discussed, could be a could be a change, so fair enough. Uh, nicely Lewis Cook back on the bench instead of Kilkenny. Uh, a bit more experience. But yeah, Kelly in for Celeste is the big surprise. I don't know whether that someone made a point that Celeste hasn't completed 90 yet. He might be carrying something. If not, is he looking at the pace factor? Um, Kelly offers a bit more pace. I'm not sure. But still a good side for both teams. Um, absolutely pissing down there. But I tell you what, it's going to piss down the goals, mate. It's going to piss down the goals. We're winning this now, by the way. Yeah, 3 2. Well done. First bit of penetrative football there from Spurs, playing in and around our box. Got away with it. Played the numbers well though, didn't we? Oh, Kirkes! What a challenge from Kirkes! Out of your what? Make it count! I know they still got the ball, but bloody hell, I love the way he threw himself in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's a goal. Goals that you sort of see in slow motion, everyone kind of stops and watches it go in the back of the net. Very uh, odd. Ironically, um, ironically, Spurs scored exactly the same type of goal in in their last match. I think it was Davies who just yeah, got yeah. a touch on it, and that one, I mean, so so annoying. It looks offside to me, but it's obviously not. Well, all the players looked at the lines of it, mate, and yeah. uh, they all are very confused. Hello, hello. Son's through. Goal. No, that goal. That goal. I thought it was in. I thought it was going in. Spurs are scary when they're on the break. Jesus. That's good to hear. He's having a go. I think you watch the replays, he probably did win the, win the ball. Now watch, watch Son here. He's got a couple of options. Nice. Yeah, they're in, they're in. They're, oh, that could be out. Oh, I see. Oh my God, have they got away with that? How have they got away with that? How? How have they got away with it? Mate, I genuinely thought that was a goal. I did. Impressive in those areas, haven't they? In in large 
park, I suppose. I think, I think they've been impressive pretty much everywhere, really, haven't they? Yeah. Kept us quiet. Yeah, frustrating. I think um, I can see why they're enthusiastic. They try and play on the front foot. They're a good side. But I, I, I thought we'd be a bit better. We've been okay. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd be a little bit better at combating them. I think Madison's running right out there. And it shows that we don't have a midfield. I think it's evident now how we need them players back. I can't work out Kelly for Celesi. Not that he's been awful. I just can't work out. Don't understand it. But um, we've been alright. I'm glad it's 1 0, put it that way. They, they have been well on top. So we've had a few chances, but I don't feel like we've looked like scoring. I think they look more like to get the second. So I've heard Lewis Cook's getting ready, so he might be coming on. But um, I'm happy for it to be 1 0 at the moment, to be honest, mate, which says it all. But. You know, at least I'm filling my point up with this rain. Yeah, exactly. you, know I mean? and, you know, people wonder why I've got a rain damaged camera every two minutes. This yeah. is why. Look at that. Subscribe. Right, well, second half started, and already we we seem to be much more on the front foot here. So let's carry on. More eh? aggressive, certainly. Definitely yeah. more aggressive. Yeah. Semenyo did really well to win it back there, hustling and bustling. I tell you what, he did really well. Should have been a free kick there. Oh, no. you know what? The referee's done well there because Semenyo was tripped. He was going through. going on, Brian Christie is coming off, and Traore coming on, Cliver also off as well with Jay Nancy coming on. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Would you believe it? You know what? It feels like the same as last week where there was a little break in play. In this instance, it was just a load of substitutions. Last week, it was a red card. Yeah. And then... And then they score. And, and we were on top. We were on top. No! Oh, Jaden! I'm lucky with that effort, Jaden, there. Again, just too nice on the ball, just a foot through it. Phil's last touch today has been awful. Do you know, I don't think he's looked great since uh, the new manager's come in, since the change of system. I think, he, I think he had his place in how we were playing before. It allowed him to get the numbers. I think he finds it hard. Come on, ball! It is absolutely pissing it down. It is absolutely right. Disgusting. So we've, and we've got to do fan caps. <laughs> that might not happen. It's 
frustrating now. Really frustrating. Spurs just toying with us, really. Yeah, fans have had enough. Four minutes to go. We don't look remotely threatening at the moment. And they might even score. Went over the bar, though. At least the sun's out, Tiggs. At least the sun's out. We've got something going for us. I mean, I'll take a draw now. <laughs> take us just get a shot target. Game over. That last chance pretty much summed it up, didn't it? We're off to fan cams. I think Spurs, mate, they were the class above, really. Who needs Harry Kane, eh? Yeah, it seems that way. They, they were very, very good, and I think our, our attempts to kind of press their back line didn't work so well because actually they were quite good, yeah. their back line. So, yeah, it's a it, tricky game. Still waiting for that. Yeah. Iriola ball to kick in. Yeah, hasn't quite. Right. Fans are exiting Dean Court. We're going to be chatting to a few of them now. Bring on fan cams, are they? But we had chances. Frustrating. It was a bit. No, I'll bring the car Outside. Because we played the last round. In the south, Sandman. Manson and Faith. Really, we're cracking. Target. Right, the game's finished. We've got Leah with us. How are you, Lee? Doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. I spot yeah. an accent. I spot yeah, an accent. I right, what yeah. part of America are you from? Los Angeles. Wow, how, yeah. how did you enjoy the game today? Well, I enjoyed it. I mean, I wish we had at least scored. I mean, yeah. I just really wanted to be able to celebrate with everyone for once instead <laughs> yeah. of uh, on my couch at 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> this game we've been on at 4.30, so yeah, I was really, really glad I was here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is this your first time here? Yeah. What do you think? What, what, what did I you make of it? I loved it. I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah, it was really great seeing everyone like playing up close and yeah. really seeing like all the skill and talent we have. Yeah. Do you think but you, you, we should be all right this season, shouldn't we? I mean, I think where, so. where do you think we'll be finishing? Do you think? Uh, I think higher than last season. I'd yeah. say, like, say eleven. I think we're gonna we're gonna go for our Love top this. finish. <laughs> um, and you know. What player stood out for you today? Because there are a few, you know, a well, few standout performances. Yes, Ryan Christie, always, but definitely today. Um, Kirkes, I've been really impressed by him. Um, Semenyo, he did a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Love it. Leah, thank you for coming <laughs> on, really appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Fan cam's over. I've changed my outfit. That's what I do at weekends. I'm going. I'm, I'm going out for a few beers. Wow, we're that's gonna go continuity error. Because um, it's the afternoon. That's what early evenings on a Saturday are for, right? Um, nice to see Leah, fan of the channel. Yeah, that was from the nice. States there after fan cam. She just missed out fan cams. That's why we've inserted it there. But Los Angeles. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Why, why say that? Well, it's a long way to come, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is a long way to come. But thank you. Yeah. Home of LA Law. What a drama that was. Hell of a drama. ITV's, 9 o'clock, Thursday nights, back in the 90s. And anyway. what a drama we had today at Dean Court. Oh, oh I like that from you. It, it was, yeah, it was a shame. You know what, it just reminded me, um, I said it on the vlog, of the Liverpool game. Like, in that game, two-thirds of the way through, there was a break in play, albeit that game was ascending off. There, there was like loads of subs in this one. After that, there was no rhythm from Bournemouth at all. Spurs did what they had to do, and um, as a result, saw out the game relatively comfortably, I thought. We had, yeah. a, we had a spell where we were testing them. And then after the subs, it was cut dead. But you know what? Losing to Spurs in, isn't a bad thing, is it? No, and, and you know, and after the rain and the sun comes the rainbow, and that's that's coming soon. Yeah, that's coming soon. Yeah, no, we got watch this. out for bungle in the sky. Right, nice to uh, see you all. Of course, make sure you do the like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Up, cheers. cheers.